Hey everybody, Brian with you from the Game Comment. We are playing more Imperator Realm. We're about to declare war on Thrace. This is going to be our first probably major battle against a major power. I mean, I guess we took on Phrygia late earlier, but it wasn't like a major fight because they, um, they didn't have any troops. So, anyways, this guy of sound representation and our brother have recently started to spar furious. Well, I'm not siding with my brother. Is he a friend? He's a friend of the Admiral. He already has a lot of loyalty. Brother of the Bayless. Or we can have them both lose loyalty and I gain popularity, but I'm maxed out. Yeah, I'm going to side with Xanaris. Uh, so, forget you, brother. You already hate me, so, like, whatever. So, uh, hold up. Our brother, though, actually had... Which is kind of hilarious. He actually was gaining loyalty, it looked like. No, he's still losing loyalty every month. So there's no reason to give him loyalty because he's just going to lose it anyways. And then... You're the other one. Yeah. Attain governance ship, loyal, loyal cohorts, and pretenders. So the pretender's really just the biggest one. Now, he's not a pretender. I wonder maybe because there were two brothers older than him. That's why. But... Okay, where's our where's our army? We're basically trying to get our army over here, and then we're going to declare and then go conquer this, because Egypt will come in, we'll blow up some of this territory, we'll take that from him. Then the goal is, hopefully, these guys just sit here, and so let's see, what do we have over here? 18 plus 12 is 30, uh, so that's 45 troops. Thrace is down to 24 cohorts. Oh, all right. Never mind, I'm not worried about you at all anymore. You're not at war anymore. Why'd you just lose? Did he just disband a bunch of troops? I suppose... So, yeah, we have more than enough troops to, to go kill everyone. Do you have a port down here? No. How's our ships? I want to take our ships, and we're going to move our ships over here. Actually, let's put one there, and then one there. And so then that should blockade his regions. So he's not going to be able to get through here. He's got a lot of ports over here, so we're definitely going to want to start sieging everything down. Are we going to, like, absorb? I mean, we're going to absorb a lot of him. Let's just be honest. We want to absorb as much as possible. He does have a lot of mercenaries in his territory. Okay. That honestly may be what happened, is he might have bought some mercenaries. I bet you that's what happened, is he bought mercenaries. Okay, so we need to give a generalship. Uh, also, here's the other thing. I want this army right here uh, attached here ally friends you guys are just gonna merge and then I need someone here Poseidon he loves me sure now most of these are loyal to my brothers <laughs> so you know you know should be fine should be fine I'm sure they'll support you I'm sure they'll listen to you they're not gonna be like we like this other guy better uh, this will slowly tick down yeah, I don't really care. You actually don't have full loyalty or full morale right now. Huh. Why? Maybe because we just pulled him off. I bet it's because we just pulled him off. He's actually building more troops, just FYI. Think he knows what's going? I think he knows what's going. All right, screw it. Let's do it. Declare war. Take Rhodes. Uh, take Rhodopi. Rhodopi. And then Skludo. How will that work? How will that work? Let's do something really quick. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm pretty sure since he's the war leader, we're not going to be able to take this territory. Um, Actually, Scythia's over there. Huh. That's secluded. Never mind. Scythia. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Declare war. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirm. We're losing precious metal grains. Whatever. So, what I wanted to see is if we go here and we sue for peace and we say... Dang it. I actually can't look at it. So, we need to actually conquer it first. Ah. ah, ah. We have more trade routes. Where do you have the extra iron? We can't get precious metals anymore. Uh, the plus one means we have the surplus, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So we can give Freeman happiness. Furs give us more experience. Supply limit. Is that supply limit everywhere? And every surplus in the province. Oh. Maybe do livestock? And then we have these extra trade routes, but we can't do anything with it. Okay. I'm just, uh, I just want to take a territory really quick. Just give me a territory super, super quickly, and then we'll go from here. Can we actually block him? We can actually have him block. Yeah, because we could go here, and then literally they're not going to be able to enter my territory. Because they're not going to be able to cross this uh, seaway, I think, because my uh, ships are there. Pretty sure that's how that works. So... Why is this guy at war with us? Wait. Diplomacy map mode. There we go. Pontus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're at war with him, but it doesn't matter. Basically, I just want to take this territory because I want to see what this looks. How are we losing? How are we losing war score? I'm blockading. Anyways, I want to take that. So... You currently only have negative two. I don't know if this is even possible. Does he not have forts over here? He actually doesn't even have forts over in this territory. All right. Okay. I don't know. Let's just continue the war on for now. The, I mean, the whole thing is I basically just wanted to peace out, but with the secludes, I, I just don't know how it's going to work. Because the secludes, you know... Oh, he did pass through here. So he did actually pass through here right now, even though we have the ship there. Uh, noted. There's our 20k. Alright, so this is fine. We are going to try matching him in battle. I need you to come down here and help out. Because we should be able to hit him. We are technically not winning this battle right now, but that's okay. Um, and then we're going to take our other 16k and we're going to get over here as well. And then we should just be able to whack you. So, hold up. Let's see what he's doing. He's doing... I'm doing Phalanx. He's doing Shock. So, I want you to do whatever kills Shock. Which is Phalanx. Eh. What's weak to Shock? Envelopment. So, do Deception. Okay, that works. And we're absolutely destroying, destroying, destroying. Accept offer. And now we're losing, now we're at five. Now we're at four. I don't know why we're losing so much error score right now. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. All right, uh, Mr. Cav, go chase. Oh, he does have a fort somewhere. He does have a fort. Oh, it must be right here. Is it? Yeah, okay, he does have a fort right here. Yo, you go up here now. What? Why are you going all the way around? I'm so confused right now. Just go back that way. Where's a fort? Can we see where the freaking forts are? Pretty sure he doesn't have a fort anywhere over here. From uh, the walking. Okay, whatever. So we're still losing error score. I don't know what that was. I didn't see what that alert was. We still have unreused trade routes. Uh, we can actually get some stuff now this time, which is good. Um, I guess fish for the population growth. Yeah, I suppose let's do fish. And we'll send him from there. Bye, babe. Love you. Love you. Uh, okay. Once again, I don't know if this war is even like, possible. Now, once we have the... Okay, here's the thing. If we have the war goal, our thing will tick up. So it will tick up our war score. I actually kind of feel like putting a dude right here. Protecting ourselves against like any crossings might not be a bad idea. And then we're protecting this crossing here too. And so then they're going to get a massive river crossing penalty. So I think maybe that's what we want. Okay, we're also stealing people and sending it places, so that's good. What is the war goal? 
By the way, how's our money? Not good. Not good. Blessing to Hermes. What's the wordle? Take road. R H O D P E. So it's pretty much all that territory. Okay. 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 We conquered you. Good, good, good. Uh he gains loyalty, our brother. Or we could pay to have him observe. I'm just gonna whatever. I'm just not even gonna pay. I'm not gonna spend the money. He doesn't have enough loyalty. I'm not really worried at all. So we won our first siege. Uh, we are fighting ships right now. Um, hi, I would like you to come over here and help out. I didn't realize he actually had ships there. That could be a problem, but we'll see. So you just go... Actually, you're going to grab all that. So you go work on that territory right now. And we're just going to start sieging down him. We're winning, but it's getting a little sketchy. So... Our dude has been spending time with our heir. These two are natural enemies, so it might be wise to be careful with this situation. We could convince our son to no longer be involved. Yeah. Yeah, let's make sure our son doesn't get involved with this. I mean, here's the thing. I mean, having my son take over isn't the worst thing in the world, because I like my son better. I don't know. So, I just want one of these ships. Just give me one. And then you go back over here and start blockading again. Sounds good. Um, we're still losing error score, which is hilarious, or war score, even though... Like, what the hell, man? We've won three freaking battles, we've sieged out uh, a freaking province, and we're still losing this. <laughs> uh, sure, that makes complete sense. So he's got 28k, 15k there. He's got some pretty large troops. Am I worried? Ah, oh, so our dude made a preemptive strike against today. Oh, apparently overconfident in his own abilities. Um, but the fight went in favor of the defender. So our brother's now wounded. Who did he attack? Me. No, I'm Philip. So one of my brothers attacked one of my other brothers. Well, I'm glad I paid to get my uh, son not involved, because that would have been really painful if he got involved. All right, so are you at war? Yeah, he is at war over here. Huh. So someone else declared war on you at the same time? The war... I think Thrace declared war, I think is what happened. All right. All right. Here's my only concern right now. I'm worried that I'm going to have to actually siege him down to actually get what I need. But I could get, uh, cancel the guarantee. If nothing else, maybe we just use our war score in this one to cancel the guarantee. And that probably is not the worst thing in the world. We could also sit here and siege out a lot of territory. Uh, plot poison. Uh, Alexander was making merry when he fell mysteriously suddenly ill. We suspect he might have been poisoned by those seeking to do away with the competition. We could gain 100 religious power to bring a holy man, and there's a 50% chance our son dies. Or we could lose popularity. Our brother gains popularity. Our brother gains loyalty. Our son gains popularity, which he needs it, and loyalty. And then Alexander will die. F it. How inconvenient, man. <laughs> I don't like our... Like, I don't like our brother. We now have pretender support. Why? Why? What? No, don't bring my other brother into this. <laughs> my other brother has nothing to do with this. Just, just stop. Just stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, this family, dude. What am I going to do with this family? I hope that my son doesn't have a bunch of kids. Or my son doesn't have a bunch of brothers. He just has one, right? No, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Me. My sibling. He just has one brother right now. And he has a slight pretender. Okay. I am going to go ahead and arrange a marriage for you right away. Let's get uh, Seema. She's 17. She's got pretty good stats. She's rash. Eh. And zealous. Eh. Cold and pious. Eh. What about content? No, we definitely don't want content. Zealous. What's with, why do none of these stats have positives? You notice that? It seems like every stat is negative. So she actually seems like she has the best stats here. 
She's cold, but whatever. And she'll lower our national tax. Whatever. Go ahead. Get married. That's fine. So we are about to take this whole zone, which hopefully is going to then give us a bunch of uh, war score. We'll see. Remember, he's still fighting another war over here. We're also, like, looting and taking a bunch of people right now. So there's only, what, one province left? Province map mode? Uh, uh, yeah, just the one. And then we're good. So that should flip the war score, he says to himself. But he doesn't know for sure. Because this game is a little bit different. Alright, bonus civil level, sweet. You're still suffering attrition. Let's go here real quick. Is this going to suffer attrition? Yeah, I'll suffer attrition there too. Might want to move you across. I think we are going to move you across. Go take the war on. Let's actually move you there. Accept offer. I love how they had no forts over here. It's kind of hilarious. Also pretty great for us. All right. So we have the war score. Game. He does not control the province. He does not control the province. That is the freaking province too. Alrighty then. Uh, I need my horsies. Okay, I see the problem. Okay, okay, okay. So we need to go grab these islands as well. Just go move you guys here because you're quick. Um, is there some place I can sit? Where's a good supply limit over here? Alright, so if I conquer that one, then we can sit there without attrition. I'll be fine. And it's not quite across the river, but we can move there quickly. Um, horse will get there soon. He might move in to defend. I don't think I'm worried. Uh, Scandal! Uh... Medita Zanid was found with a lover. Okay, so this is none of our business. We lose popularity. Eh. Uh, they would lose prominence and lose their position. Or he gains loyalty uh, and then a chance to gain wounded. We'll just kick him out. Menendez. Is that this guy? He's not really that good anyways. Alright, so now we have an open slot. Yeah, he wasn't particularly great anyways. Not like any of our other guys are good. Do you have a scorn family? Doesn't look like it. Uh, you know, what? I'm gonna give it to my son. Cause my son's gonna be bitchy here if we wait too long. He's gonna be like, "Yo, uh, why don't I have a job?" And I'm gonna be like, uh, "Calm down." And then you know he's gonna lose loyalty and blah 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 blah. All right, so let's move you over here. Is that where he's going? Yeah. So that should kill him. There you go. All right, uh, grab this. You stay here. Stay there. We're just gonna let our horses take care of it because he's the quickest. So you should no longer be suffering attrition. We're basically just trying to keep our people where they're not gonna suffer attrition. Okay, so once again, we should have positive war score here in just a second. I hate that we're not at war. Oh, we need to take, we totally forgot to actually do this. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to go take the Egypt stuff. We're we're gonna want that stuff. Yeah, we basically want these islands as well. And I would love to eat up as much of Thrace as possible. The other thing too is we're gonna want Thrace. Uh, we're gonna want the guarantees rejected so that we can beat up Thrace here as soon as our um, uh, 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 as soon as our truce ends. But yeah, we're in a good spot. We're in a pretty good spot now at this point in the game. Especially when you add the fact that, like, Phrygia is just completely uh, decimated. How's Egypt? They're at war with us, but they're in another war as well. Yeah, he's got a lot of little fighting. So he's in an okay spot. How's Rome looking? Rome is still not quite large enough to be our ally again. I mean, they're not as cool as us, so, you know. Also, we should be able to start uh, integrating you. Start integration. Literally doesn't cost anything. So, sure. Uh, oh, we just found a bunch of Egyptian troops. Ah! 
It's not going as well as I thought. Uh, one of our guys actually won. Yeah, because he's got... Uh, we're doing uh, shock and he's doing phalanx. Why are we on shock? Dang it. Uh, so he actually has a positive attack. We do have scorn family now. Fudge. The Xenods. I think one of them we kicked out, right? Researcher. Yeah, these guys don't have jobs. They're all terrible. <laughs> He's got a six. No. No. What's your stats? You got 11. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Did we win? We did. But not nearly as efficiently as we should have. Uh, go kill these guys. And go phalanx. Phalanx, please. Just so he can't uh, do that again. Those are mercenaries. They are led by... I actually don't know who they're led by. Alright, that's a straight kill. Good, 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 good. Uh, what's the war looking like over there? Good, go take that. We should be getting our war score here. Um, what is going on there? Why are we suffering attrition? This was... It said it was a lot larger than actually what it is. Uh, okay. Well, that sucks. Our supply limit's terrible over here. Can we talk about this? What about the city? So go sit on the city then. There is a chance that he moves across, and then we'll just go engage him. I just don't want to, like, suffer attrition now. What is this? White piece imminent. What? Uh, we're depressed again. That's fine. When is this going to end? Also, that's bullcrap. We've literally been going for it as quick as possible. Uh, I don't know... I don't know if we need to take this or not. Uh, region, region, region. Yeah, we are going to have to take this one as well. Wait, that's religion. Province. Yeah, we are going to have to take that one. Come on. Hurry up. 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 I don't care about the scorned. I'll be so mad if we end up losing this. Just FYI. I will be pissed. Okay, that conquered all that. So, that got rid of the white piece. We currently now have the ability to take this. What is this looking like? No, because we don't have 10 in war score. This is what we want. And then we want to cancel. Wait, we can't stop the guarantees? What? How can we not stop the guarantees? Since when, man? That's bull crap, by the way. Oh, this is all... Uh, okay, this is all stuff over here. Yeah, there you are. There you are. Where's Tylos? No idea where that one is. And then you're over there. Where is Tylos? I don't see it. T-Y-L-O-S. Oh. <laughs> no wonder I can't see it. Alright, so anyways, this is what we want. It's going to require, uh, it's going to give me 16 aggressive expansion. Nice. Uh, it needs 48 war score. This might be a little bit more. I mean, here's the other thing. We could literally just do, like, something like this. Uh, this is the only fort in the region. That's 39. We need at least 10 for this to happen. So, let's go move you over here. Where'd our ally go? Hey, ally. Go siege things down, buddy. You keep doing what you're doing. You come over here. Get some sieging. Come over here. Let's go kill these guys. Uh, let's see. Where are you moving? He is moving to Leon. He's moving over there. We're actually going to catch this army. Good. I want you to come over here as well. You're coming over here and you're going to help out. You're on a phalanx, right? Yes. So let's hit him. Good. And then you need to get over here. But it looks like we're going to win this battle before that. So we did lose a uh, 
probably too many troops for the scheme of things, but that's okay. Okay, and then he's marching in here, and now he's just gonna instantly get wiped. And we capture an enemy. That does put us at 12. No. Negative 83. Okay. It's a problem. Where are you moving? Somewhere else. So we'll just probably chase you down. Where would be a fort over here? Don't think there's any forts over here. Doesn't look like one. Yeah, it really doesn't look like there's a fort over here. I know I got the Scorn family. I'll take care of it here and eventually. I just don't really care at this point. Keep chasing this army down because we're going to go squish it with our cav. If we can. Where are you going now? He's going to Zelia. We can't get over there. I hate how they can move through territories. That doesn't make sense. They fixed that in EU4 where if you gave... Or was it Crusader Kings? Where basically if um, uh, someone gave military access like so if they had military access through a country i would also have military access through that country so it's kind of annoying that they never fixed it also these guys were just suffering a bunch of attrition uh, tr uh, tr pff, attrition because we had you in the wrong spot so you know hey good job oh we got him we got him we got him apparently they turned around i don't know what happened you can come over here i wish they're oh uh, you know what we could just do put them on automated yeah, we literally could just automate these guys, and then I don't have to worry about it. Let's get this guy ticking up. Or finish that, and then we'll bring him to the front lines. We could actually have you go siege over here. Could we? I don't know how we get there. Yeah, I don't know how we get there. So let's just move you over there. Because I literally don't know how we get him to move over there. Are you going in my territory or are you going back over there? I don't know. No, you just turned around and flipped over there. Alright, whatever. You don't have a lot of room left. Uh, go chase this guy down. Go kill him. Because he has no morale right now. So, it's a very easy win. And this is basically just giving us a bunch of war score at this point. Good, 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 good. Accept offer. Is there a way to actually get, like, more tribesman output, enact law cost, tribesman output, war score cost, endorse party cost? Uh, we could actually lower the war score cost. That's what I was looking at. Here's the other option. We could go blockade Egypt. We can't blockade the, sec the seclude unless we go all the way through here, but I'm pretty sure there's no canal there yet. <laughs> So, and I don't know if I really want to bring my navy down here. He only has 10 ships, but I just don't really want to mess with it. So, here's the other thing. If we sieged all this down, we're actually not blockading anymore. So, let's go brew movie over here and go blockade these guys. Just because the more ports we blockade, the more war score we get. It's a very minor thing. It's like just point, like point something, but you know. Let's move you over here. Actually, you're suffering attrition there. Go there. Are we going to go move our army across the water? We might. He did just win that war, it looks like, because he just gained some territory. Okay, he's got six ships there. Whatever. Whatever. Why are you purple? I don't know. He's trading with Macedon. Oh, okay. That's why. He's got 15k. We got 18k. I think we go... I think we go and get ready to move across the water. We'll have our cab there before too long. We can move this other army back there too. Um, our other army is coming around the corner when he comes. It's taking a little bit of time, but that's okay. Uh, how's this looking right now? Remember, war score is slowly ticking up every turn. So peace off for months at war. Uh, capital is negative 10 and war balance is negative 19. War balance? Oh, because he still has a lot more troops than me. Because he has plus 8%. Wait, no, I'm getting plus 8%. Because he has a lot of troops, that's why. <laughs> Essentially. Oh, there we go. Our army loss is a 15. He lost 22. Eh. We enslaved 38, though. Nice. We probably lost more, honestly, to attrition at this point than anything else. Which, I hate to say. Here's the big problem. Manpower. I don't really like how our manpower is looking right now. He has no manpower, though. So. I hate how we can't get rid of the guarantee. That's just dumb, in my opinion. 
I would honestly take just like two provinces and end the guarantee. Like, in a heartbeat. If I could end the guarantee, that's all I would do. Because that's releasing subjects. And then this is seeding provinces. This is... How the freaking heck is that not in this game? <laughs> ah, I hate when they don't have stuff that you 4 had that, like, honestly is, like, basic stuff. I just don't understand that. That should be something they clearly have at this point in the game. Mr. Army, sit right here for now. Until I finish this. Bitter feud. So, uh, the court. So, I think it's our brother. Our brother starts seeing as a rival. Or we can uh, side with Cassandra, the chosen heir. He starts seeing him as a rival. He gains loyalty. And then that dude loses loyalty. Or we can just let him fight. You know, I'm just going to side with our heir. He's our heir, man. Okay, so he's got 20k over there, and he's also got 16k. Probably mercenaries. Let's be honest. We could actually buy this mercenary group and then let them go kill. 155 to disband. I totally didn't mean to do that. But alright, I guess we're, we're getting the mercenaries. <laughs> Whoopsie. Let's not talk about that, okay? So we're going to just go lead the fight right away with these mercenaries, and we're going to go from there. Who is this? Proctid. He wants... Researcher. He's not really good. What researcher, though? What researcher... Becomes the Archimagoras. Okay. So Proc did at a 7 would get it. And then our 8 guy. Nah. Nah. I'm not going to give it up. Sorry. Deal. Hi. I want you to lead across. We're just going to go straight into this fight, by the way. So, as soon as you get across this ocean, then I want you basically to get over here and go blow him up. Uh, we are losing money again. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. Uh, accept offer. We also got to wrap this episode up. Um, maybe let's do this battle and then wrap it up from there. What are you rolling with? Cav, heavy infantry. Uh, let's play it, phalanx. All right. Now, let's bottleneck. Because it's actually strong against shock. Bottleneck isn't weak against phalanx. Okay, you're actually getting over there, so I need you over here to help out. I need you over here to help out, and we're going to go heavy on this. And so then these guys are going to basically meet this army. I don't know why imminent battle. Oh, our commander sucks, that's why. <laughs> Two versus a ten. I'm just now realizing something. I'm just now realizing something. They start with no morale. I did not realize that. All right, we're winning this one this time. Yeah, I told... Actually, he's about to pop up more. Uh, but we're about to pop in more. Uh, problem here. Hi. We need to win this battle. One twenty four. It is one twenty five. All right, we're gonna reload this because whoopsie, we screwed this up. Something fierce. We definitely screwed this up. Did not realize that um, mercenaries don't start with morale, which seems kind of dumb. I mean, I guess it makes sense from a balance standpoint, but also kind of dumb. Uh, game. There we go. There we go. Keyboard wasn't working. Uh, Alright, so I need you to stop here and gain morale. I need you to stop there and gain morale. And we're going to wrap this episode up here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, show your support. Uh, I, here's the other problem. We were also getting the river crossing. So that's what was really killing us. Um, I hate the fact that we're just going to sit here and suffer attrition. But there's not really much else we can do because I can't really go anywhere. 5%, 5%, 5%. I can't really... I guess I could put you up there. It's just so far away, man. And then I'll put you here. 
and then 5%, 5%, uh, 0%. But once again, we just moved someone else there. All right, I'll see you guys next episode. Bye, everybody.